We are joined by uh, one of the still driving IndyCar legends, TK Tony Kanaan. Let's go! Hey, it's great seeing you again. Good to see you, my friend. And uh, this is it, right? This is the last time. I guess. So. I, yes. No, uh, you don't. I mean, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Never say it, never. Never it say is, never. It is. it is the last time, uh, and uh, I'm convinced it will be. I mean, obviously, last year was tough when you I finished third, and I get a call from such a good team I couldn't pass, but this is the last time. Okay. Now, uh, it's okay if you go back on that. No one's going to yeah. care. I've, uh, we've determined from talking to other drivers that you can't hear the crowd going berserk when you drive by and when you take the lead. Can you? I know. Obviously, you're focused. Right. Can you see anything? I, can I can't see the gestures. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. that's something that, over the years, I didn't pay attention to it. And when people kept saying and telling me how the crowd reacted, and also watching videos how the crowd reacted when I made a pass, by nature now I just. So if I take the lead going into one, I go into turn three, I'm kind of looking up. Yeah. Yeah. So if I ever crash, it would be extremely stupid because <laughs> I'm watching these people. But, but yes. Would it be harder? That's so true. So last one, would it be harder to walk away winning it or finishing like second or third where you were like right on the cusp? I don't think it makes a difference. I think the decision that I made, I know I'm still capable of yeah. winning. And I know I can still decide to come back next year if that was the case. That I was still going to be capable of winning. I think the the, the, the biggest thing for me is I'm going to enjoy, and then mm-hmm. I think I wanted to enjoy with with you guys, with yeah. my fans. All my four kids are here yeah. this awesome. this time, and for them to witness what this place, the way this place treats me, it's more important than yeah. finishing second, yeah. winning, or, or yes. whatever. Yeah. How old are they now? Uh, 15, 8, 6, and 4. Oh, wow. So 4, like j- just old enough to she, really re- my remember My youngest this. is my daughter, she, and she will probably remember last, but now she, she really knows race of cars. I, I mean, it, it's, it's an awesome, you know, when you, you try to show, show your kids you did something good in life, oh, yeah. I think this place is going to show them Absolutely. that they're dead. That, that letter that you wrote, uh, you know, and you put it on the bricks, that was really a, really a cool touch. And, I mean, how do you, have you kept the emotions in check this week? So... I haven't. I mean, I, mean I, cry, I cried when I wrote it. Yeah. I cried when I have to write because obviously it wasn't the first time. Yeah. You know, so I cried when I wrote it. I cried when I wrote it again, <laughs> shooting it. And this week has just been, depends, right? I mean, although you're really happy and somebody will say something that it will trigger and you get emotional and, and yeah. it's only going to get worse. I mean, driver's interest is going to be a mess. The parade is oh, going to be a mess. Oh, man. Um, um, I had people coming up to me qualifying day and... You know, I had this kid. He he walked up to me. He had a a 7-Eleven hat. Old, all beat up. He says, do you remember this hat? I said, well, I know it was my hat because I... Us drivers, like you just talk about my hoodie. Yeah. This 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 hoodie, we only drivers only have it. So if I will give it to you, yeah, it's because somebody on the team, like, it wouldn't a fit. driver in the team, yeah. right? Well, <laughs> right. And anyway, this kid said to me, "You remember this hat?" I said, "Well, I know it was my hat." He says, "Well, you gave it to me," and he showed me a picture. Ah. But they were talking about 15 years ago. He is 20. Oh. And he was wow. five. And then you cry. Of course, cries. yeah. Just, How could you not? So, yeah, it's been, it's been up and down. It's been yeah, up and down. I love that story. Now, uh, am I correct in saying that you have a sleeve with some uh, significant I have tattoos? a tattoo, yes. Yeah, yes. and uh, is it, do you have the Borg Warner on there? So, you want, you want to see sure, it? Sure, I'd love to see it. Yeah. Yes. So, oh, look at all this oh, stuff. Man, Basically, amazing. Tom, when, when, when I, what I did it was I, I made a tattoo when I won with the biggest accomplishments of my life. So, Whoa. it's the bricks. The Borg Warner. Then I have the hand imprints in the foot of my kids when they were born. Oh, wow. My wedding date with my wife. The, oh. the car number that I won. And I won the 24 hours of Daytona. And you win a Rolex. That's the crown of the watch. That's so, so cool. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Who, who designed that? You designed it, but who did it? Uh, it was a guy in Sweden, actually. Uh, Sweden? Yeah. No, he was in Brazil at the time, but he's oh, okay. from Sweden. So, yeah. Oh, See, that's that a great is, story. That is yeah. cool. You know, most people these days, they've got, you know, Daffy Duck. They got him at the mall. <laughs> <laughs> my my brother-in-law has a uh, pink panther holding a beer that's like yeah. that used to be pink and now it's just gross. They don't go. Is it Sweden? Uh, where are we in uh, no. Australia? Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. I was in Sheboygan. It was Lake Castleton. Yeah. <laughs> Castleton. <laughs> Tony Kanata is our guest. TK, he is a fan favorite. Oh, and, isn't he? Uh, he could do it. Heck he, yeah. yeah. He well, can you imagine that story? Then we make a movie. We're going to make a movie anyway, but that's right. a good way to Okay, end. you got to ask him the question. So, uh... 
when they make a movie about you, yeah. who plays you? Uh, come on. Vin Diesel. Yes. <laughs> There's no doubt. Great call. I don't know. There's not going to be an, an audition. That's, yeah. It's either yeah. him or we're not making the movie. I mean, I feel like you're maybe a better actor than Vin Diesel. I'm just saying. You're I, really uh, good. Uh, I, I mean, think I'm about not going to discuss that, but, you know. But. <laughs> That's great. I love it. Wow. Fast uh, and furious okay. indeed. La last question. Do you have any uh, like weird things you eat or don't eat? Before you, before the race, Brazilian Tom, balls, cheese Tom, balls. We're all weird. Come on, yeah. you, you know me for a long time. Anything, <laughs> anything unusual? No, I try not to eat, which I love, like sushi or raw fish, just because. But that's so stupid because you can eat bad food regardless. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Food could yeah. just be bad. So, what we try to do is just funny. But whatever I eat on Saturday, on Friday night, the same food that was cooked from there, I'll eat Saturday night. Oh, so we'll you know. It. You know you're eating that's something. That's good. That's interesting. Go. Now, that is an interesting quirk. Yeah. So finally, we have a question that's almost real. And, yeah, it, and it's really boring because then, you know, the race is actually, we get a report to the green room at 11. We kind of have lunch at 10, 30 yeah. in the morning. And that's the same food. So it's the same food for three days. Oh, wow. And it's two dinners and you call breakfast, but yeah. it's lunch. Do you think you'll live in Indiana forever? Will you go back to Brazil? For, for, would you? I will never go back to Brazil. I think uh, my family is all here. My wife, yeah, you know, sure, went to school with your wife. Yes, exactly. Uh, the kids love here. Uh, forever is a tough call. Yeah. But I think uh, you know, with the smaller kids that we have, yeah, yeah, who have eighteen years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'll be here on for us. A easy. It's easy. Pretty cool. do, do I have eighteen years to hate the winter. <laughs> <laughs> do the theater show that me and Tom do yeah. that we play ridiculous roles. Yeah. Oh, I'd like to see that. Do, do your kids speak Portuguese? That we bilingual. I only speak Portuguese to them at home, and uh, my oh, wife is great. American, so they uh, they speak both languages. Does she speak much? She does. So she had to learn with four people, five people talking. Yes, but she does. Yeah, that's most great. mostly the swear words directed at you. She. That's how she learned how to speak Portuguese. Swearing at me, and now <laughs> we had we had to stop since the kids are yeah. not okay yeah. old enough to swear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tony cannot. Ladies and gentlemen, TK, local boy.